know. I have had a few people asking about this one because I mentioned, I think it was over a month ago now, that Moton Customs had passed through to me a late stage prototype for their foot peg and control assemblies for the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. The Equalizer project, which is what Moton named this assembly two years ago when they first started working on it, is something that the market has been waiting for for a very long time. Okay, there were one or two suppliers came out with sort of halfway house solutions but for a lot of people that didn't solve the issues that they were having with the Royal Enfield Interceptor. Now I have to say from the start I've never had any difficulties with the position of the foot pegs but we are all anatomically different and some people do have issues with them. One thing that I do want to address is that it's often been mooted that the footrest brackets are out of alignment, some sort of mistake at the factory. That's a load of rubbish. They're exactly where Royal Enfield intended them to be. They're fitted at a very slight angle so that you don't snag your boots on the engine casings. Not a problem if you only have small feet. But it makes a lot of sense if you have big feet like me. The main issue, however, seems to be that people think the foot pegs are too far forward. Now, this isn't a problem when you're actually riding. The problem apparently comes in when you're trying to manoeuvre the bike sitting on it with your feet. And people catch and hurt the calves on them. As I've said, it's never been an issue for me. But this complaint has persisted. Moton Customs have listened, and they've come up with what I believe is the ultimate fully adjustable foot peg and control system, the Equalizer. Now, I need to make it clear for the avoidance of all doubt. These are not in production as yet. The ones that I'm showing you today are a late stage prototype. And these particular ones have been used, abused and tested almost to the point of destruction before being passed on to me. Now, Moton Customs don't do this with all their prototypes, but generally speaking, the passed on to me for a sort of second opinion. A fresh pair of eyes once they've got the prototypes to where they think they need to be. I then test them in a similar manner and pass on my thoughts to them. Any improvements I think could be made. And we take it from there, more often than not, the spot on when I get them. But it is likely that there may be one or two changes made to these assemblies, just a little bit of finessing. The equalizer will, of course, come as a pair. It is a very elegant and sophisticated design, which allows limitless adjustability for just about any rider. Both the gear selector peg and the foot brake pedal are adjustable for height and reach by means of a quite ingenious rotating cam system. It takes mere seconds to adjust but is extremely secure once adjusted. So whether it's the gear selector or the rear brake, any rider with any foot size will be able to dial in the perfect ergonomics to suit him or her. Now, the adjustable pedals are just the icing on the cake. The main point of these, obviously, was to offer the rider adjustability of the footrest. Fully extended, as you see here, represents just a little bit further back than the OEM footrest location point. And from there, they can be adjusted back in three positions, offering a total of about 40mm rearward adjustment which is about the maximum possible to allow the actual mechanics of the gear shifter and the rear brake to operate safely. I know some manufacturers are offering for sale pegs which give this sort of adjustment. Unfortunately, they don't take into account lever reach. 
and the further back you adjust the foot peg, the further away your control levers are, which for some people could prove downright dangerous. It's okay being the first people to bring these sort of things to the market, but quite often you're wasting your money because solving one problem creates another. And Motone have spent the best part of two years making sure that doesn't happen. Motone have incorporated the rear brake master cylinder into the adjustment cartridge which means that once you've actually fitted this assembly you don't need to disturb the master cylinder it moves back with the pegs as you adjust them it's also protected by a very sturdy cnc machined mounting bracket more of which i'll come on to in a moment Each component in these assemblies is CNC machined from 6061 grade aluminium billet, which looking at it is an incredibly complex task. I don't think these are going to be cheap. 6061 grade aluminium gives flexibility with very high strength. So in the event of you dropping the bike, the more likely to flex than bend or snap. And all supplied fasteners will of course be stainless steel. Now, the linkage for the gear actuator will accept the first two adjustment points, but not the third. So, Motone Customs will be included a threaded extension bar to allow you to make that adjustment if you want to push it to the max. They have quite literally thought of everything. Both foot pegs are, of course, spring-loaded, as per the originals. And ultimate adjustability and functionality aside, they also look worlds apart from the originals. I fully understand why Royal Enfield made the original assemblies as they did. It was all part of the pricing structure. And in my opinion, it was a very wise move on their part. The money was spent on these bikes where it needed to be spent. And parts like these are all part of the customization and upgrading aspects of these bikes and once again Motone Customs have stepped up to the mark here with the ultimate in quality usability and style that the Royal Enfield Interceptor deserves now please remember these are rough and ready prototypes I'm not privy at the moment to what finishes Motown Customs intend using on these parts, although it did strike me that polished levers and brass pedals might look rather nice. Let me know what you think. Now, don't forget, all viewers of this channel get an exclusive 12% discount from Motown Customs, and the discount code is changing today because the old code, Cheesy Nobbler, has got into general circulation on the Facebook pages. Once again, Sam said he would leave it to my discretion to choose the new code. Big mistake, because the new code is Uncle Stu Rules, and I'll leave that in the video description down below, along with Motone Customs website link. Now, the Doherty style levers that I showed you a few weeks ago have now been signed off and will be going into production very shortly. I'll let you know as soon as they do. And of course, I'll also let you know when these equalizers become available. So, obviously, I'm back from my break now. This was my first sort of tour dipping back into full-time video production. I do hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And once again, thank you so much for watching this and my other videos. I really do appreciate it. I am, of course, going to be back on Friday with Volume 2 of The Mule's Day Out. Don't miss it. Now, get out, ride your bikes while the weather's nice. The season is now drawing to a close, but most importantly, ride safely. I'll see you soon.